Hello everyone. Well, now let's me see. We're back again, and I've done a little bit. Right, I've cut out the um, cut out the pieces that I need to make the. So there's my top piece, the gusset, and there's the bottom piece of the gusset. And I have four pieces for wheels, and I have two um, pieces for the caravan. Now I cut out that hole. I'm just going to show you. I'm, going to just, I'm just doing this one here now. I've just used my standing off very carefully. I've got my self-healing mat underneath this, so don't be panic. I'm not cutting holes in the table. Just the paper <coughs> and the mat. Um, so I'm just going to um, cut this out. It's, a, it's very thick, as you can see. Um, Kept saying I really want it to be solid, so watch out your fingers. I mean, and my husband hates me using this thing. <laughs> he doesn't like me having a knife. I'm gonna cut myself. Anyway, now we go. <coughs> I do everything wrong, sort of, you know, when it comes to cutting out some. So now I've got one of these. It's like a piece of emery board. A uh, piece of well, big emery board, but it's actually. What do you call it? Uh, <laughs> sandpaper thing on, on, on this. And I'm just going to sand that about a, around the edge of it just to, because it's not the, ma the ma most neatest thing I've ever done, but I just want to finish that off really good there. Now I'll do the same in the corners of where I cut this out just to help that a bit. I have a tendency to grab the nail file to do these things, which is probably not a good idea. But um, you want to make sure that that's nice and neat when you finish off there so your card will be nice and neat. And that's not helping me a bit there, this piece in the corner is not going to want, doesn't want to play nice. But I will, um, I'd like to do it as much as I can though before I get started on another bit because it might, might not come out but we'll do that. We'll, we'll take care of it, don't we? nobody worry, we'll just, you know, we'll take care of that, but I just want to do these edges here, you can see that it's not exactly perfectly cut, but if I just clean them up a bit, look better, look better, now I was going to put Mod Podge on it, but I think I might wait, wait until I actually put it together, so hopefully, that's what we're going to do in any second now, we're going to put it together, and <laughs> we're going to hope that it's going to go nicely, so when I did, um, the hole, I made sure, because I wanted the hole, to, the caravan, the window to be through the other side, you know, like, so you got, you can see it peek through, because then your door's going to be there, so when I put them on top of one another to cut out the window, I made sure that I had that level. So now we're, it's pretty good, I've got a really good little bit of a caravan thingy happening there, and I'll, we'll do the wheels too, of course, before I put them on. Which I'm, I've cut out four because I wanted to, which are b very badly I must say, but I hope to be able to straighten them out and I'm going to put them either side and I wanted to flatten the bottom. I'm actually going to file the bottom flat because I want it to stand up. So the, we'll have flat tyres, but I want it to stand. So hope, hoping I'm going to be able to, I might have to put a piece on the back here but let's try and see now if we can put it together that's going to be the fun bit see if this works it's um <laughs> anyway so now i've got the ruler which i cannot find again because like i said it's, i need to have a beeping thing on that and i just turned up my um at the line that i made which i actually didn't quite exactly get that but i just turned it, it over like so that side and this side so i just turned that over and then I'm going to snip along the edge of this. I don't really have to do that because it's straight, isn't it? Oh, well, so I can do that now anyway, can't I? Well, I might do the top bit first, put this on later. What do you reckon? Yeah, I might do the top piece first. So now I've got to actually cut this one and turn it we'll turn over first. I've cut a big hole out of that because I want that to be a skylight, which I'm going to, because um, this will be used as a embellishment vehicle of some sort. So hopefully it will. Um, the person I sent it to can get a hand in there to get out what I put in there, you see. So, anyway, there'll be windows too, so <laughs> we'll be able to get out something, I hope. 
I could make it so it all comes opens up some other way but that's going to have to be in another day because I can't I've got to figure out how to do this one first don't I? Because first things first you see I've actually um, turned that back I've got a very um, small let me get off, I'll cut it right back to the edge but I might do that later, I don't want to cut too much off because I'm not going to have nothing to work with here in a minute am I? So we're back over here and we're going to take little snips along here because when you're doing something around the corner you need for it to be able to um, move, you need to be able to work with it I'm hoping the glue pot's going to play nice with the right one here yeah. now this is the the back is a little, that little bit there isn't it so I'll say that, that's the back part so this is going to be the front so I need to put the this here that I've just snipped along there I need to fasten it in the inside of that there okay now or it would be a lot easier if I went round the back of it like that see and you'll get an absolutely gorgeous shape because if you did it in the inside it's going to be really tricky so let's do it like that, eh? Just for fun. We'll put it on the other side and see if that works. Because while you're doing something going round, because this is going to be covered with paper, and if I can keep this really flat and not have any over, overlapping, I think this will work better putting this on the outside. I do. I just got that feeling that it's going to. Now, what am I doing? <laughs> I love this on you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, hang on. Now we've got to start there and we're going to ease it in around here. Now it doesn't matter. You might have had to cut a bit out. Let's cut some off, okay? Let's cut some of them pieces off before we stick it down. Now it's all too late. It's all too late, I tell you. But we can take these pieces out here. Like there's a bit there that's overlapping and because stop it from being too full, too fat, okay, then, <clears throat> so this is going to be how Sonia's making a caravan, I'm sure everybody else didn't do it like this, but anyway, whatever they did, I don't know if, well, them other ladies, how, how they put this together, they were only little, a lot littler than these, but, Oh, this is fun. I like this. So where I've got my edge there, that's not too bad, is it? Look at that. That seems to be going around there all right. So we definitely need to take things over this way. You know, you could put, you didn't put fabric on this, you know, and turn it into something really pretty with, like, with, you know, laces and things on it. would be really natty, wouldn't it? I haven't decided yet, actually, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to decorate it. That's all going to be in the plan as you go somewhere. <laughs> it's in some plan somewhere out there. I'm not going to panic too much. We need to snip a bit more. Let's just get this up here like this. I know mean, the bitch has never seen anything made like this before in your life. <laughs> oh well, it's it's all trial and error, you know. And I thought, well, look, if I do it and it works, I might as well tape it. You know, it might not work either. We could end up with anything. We could just throw it in the bin. If um, there we go. Now that just worked just like I wanted it to. <laughs> Aren't I cheeky? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Laughing at me own self and saying that clever I am and stuff like that. That's a bit rude of me, isn't it? But you know, what are you going to do? You got to try anything. You know, you try anything. There you go. And look, if you if we're going to put a piece of paper over the, around the edge of that, and maybe put a bit of something pretty around there, nobody's ever going to know that it's that way because I really want it to stay on there. Okay, so now we're going to put the other side on, which probably Sonia wouldn't be a very good idea until you gesso it, because we want to do. Although I can still gesso the inside, we can't. Yeah, I can still do that. <coughs> maybe it, other. Uh, anybody else would like to put paper 
on the inside really pretty paper and do that first I'm going to struggle and put it on later I might even put fabric in the inside it could prove a lot easier to do I'm just snipping around the edge of this uh, maybe so mine not in the shot I suppose anyway so um, this is fun by the way if anybody wants to take it on it's really good fun the shape is very basic very very easy the shape you know it's something that sort of can be any Anyway, really, people are not going to be worried about what the shape of it's like. Anyway, it's just a nice caravans can be any sort of little shape, can't they? Now I've got that in the wrong way. But what do you think? Should I put the window in the other side? What do you reckon? So it doesn't really matter, does it? If one go that no, yes it does, because Sonia, remember the back piece is the back piece and the front piece is the front piece. And that's you're gonna leave it like that. <laughs> you can't change the plan. So we're gonna put some glue onto here. there and make sure you put that fair where it needs to go wait a minute now wait a minute now you're getting that in the wrong place and you just put that up there now if I'm doing this properly this is going to work if I'm doing this properly if I've got it all cut the right sizes and things it's all going to go together isn't it and look, look dandy yes like an idea of make how you do a, a box or something you're just going to be putting the um it into a different shape that's all you know like um you're just making a different shape thing it's just the way that it works and if we would have taken this in the inside it still would have worked like i mean this gussety part but it would have been a lot harder to maintain the shape you know like to maintain this really really good shape that it's got here well I think it is anyway good shape okay so now I've made the hole in the top a tiny tad bit big but you know what it's not going to make any difference it's not going to matter because I'm going to actually put a little flip top lid on it like because it's going to be a I'm thinking about doing a clear thing of some sort ah, ah dear might as well, <laughs> you know I'm not actually glassing maybe maybe a piece of plastic or something I don't know I'll put something in there now I really need to cut this off don't I because I don't need it to come around the corner I need to cut that off there because I've got the bottom piece that's going to go across here haven't I I've made it long enough so it can overlap on the edges of this so you're going so good so far okay the caravan <coughs> that's the back and that's going to be where the door's going to be and here's the wheel where the wheel's going to be and I'm excited because I'm going to put this piece on the bottom and then it will be a good solid little concern won't it it will be a very good solid little concern now I'm going to put a little bit of a tuck in this end piece because so it'll turn up and glue down to the end right, so I'll just cut out this corner And I'll fit it on. So this is a good idea to test things as you go. Make sure that that's going to work. And if I cut that out, I'm still going to have enough to come over here and overlap onto that just a tiny bit. So maybe it's not a good idea if I take too much off that at all. But you know what? I think I'll put... Um... Now, Sonia, you don't want to muck this up. Right. That goes across there and that's glued on. I'm not happy that it's not coming up the side just a bit. I need it just to come up a tiny bit up the edge. Cut, cut it a tiny bit. There we go. We'll just fight with this other piece at the other end to see if they can get a bit off it as well to glue it. <laughs> Turn this up a tiny bit here because I haven't got enough. You will leave yourself enough paper because you've learned by my mistakes, I hope. And you will leave yourself enough paper so when you stick that on there that'll stick over this end this will stick over that end well it will because i've just bent it to do, to do that so let's go with that now i need to put this on here 
glue on there. Go up there. I think we'll have to glue most of this because otherwise you're going to be fiddling with it and it's going to all go wrong. We need to get this bit up there glued now. I've got it in the right spot, have I? Yeah, I'll put glue on that end and not this end. Oh, yeah, brilliant. It's on you the wrong end. Yes, now we're good. We've got all ends done. Sorry, I'm not showing you what I'm up to here. I'll be crying if that thing's run out of battery. I'll just have a peep and see if you're still here with me. Oh yes, you are. Very good. Oh good, that's good. Oh dear, that's really good, you know. I mean, I don't mind doing this. It's quite good fun, but didn't want to have to um, repeat too much of it. We now push that down a bit better, of course. Alright, this side. And like I said, you can make this out of, um, cover it with fabric, please. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It's going to be a surprise, I suppose, to me and you. So whether the wheels are going to hold him or not, I don't know, but we're going to give that a shot. Um, so that's the back end, that's the part that we've got done so far. So now I've got to sort this part here out at the top, make sure I've cut that nice and neat. And then I'm going to gesso this. I will gesso the inside and the outside. So I might go and do that and then come back and show you what I'm going to do to it next. Now I didn't cut all this out at first but I intend to now because I just needed something to still hang on to while I was doing it, if you know what I mean. I didn't want it to actually all take off on me. So this will be a, a full size little thing that you can peep through or get something out of if, you, if there's anything in there, you know, sort of thing. Okay, I hope you can see this what I'm doing. Okay, so there is my little caravan so far. So we're going to gesso it and then I'm going to decide whether I will put fabric on it or paper. Now to decorate it with paper, I don't think it's going to be an issue because I think I might do that, although you never know. It would look really cool, wouldn't it, with lace? Anyway, maybe people would like to give me a bit of feedback on that and see what they think, you know. But I'm going to go and do so, and I shall be back in a minute. Okay, bye-bye.